Do you struggle with chemistry? Have you watched other classmates get higher grades? Maybe you wondered what they had that you didn't. You might have heard someone whisper, those guys are smart. Only smart guys can do well in chemistry. Then the guy who always sits in the back nodded his head poignantly towards you. Maybe you were the guy who nodded. Who is smart? Most people have a narrow idea of what it means to be smart. Year in and year out you have been exposed to the way Hollywood shows you what it means to be smart. In their version of reality, smart people are computer gurus, math whizzes, and the all-purpose science nerd. It makes you think smart people have to be a bit crazy. The scriptwriters and directors believe smartness is some inexplicable state of being. Or maybe it is a personality quirk you are born with. What you never see is the hours and hours of study and work it takes for a smart person to become a smart person. They have never done it themselves. All they can do is guess. But some people have high IQs. It is not a rare gift or spin of the wheel that makes you able to do well in chemistry. Are there Einsteins and Newtons? Yes, of course, there are. However, simple logic will tell you there are too many people who succeed at chemistry for the science of chemistry to depend on only a few individuals. Those kinds of people occur only sporadically throughout history. The probability of you even encountering such a person at your university, much less in your chemistry class, is really quite small. Nonetheless, in your class, there are several students getting A's that sit near you. Your conclusion must be you do not have to be born gifted or smart in order to succeed in chemistry. You have what it takes. Every human being, including you, has a large capacity to learn new things. Contrary to what you may have heard up until now, you are not born with a fixed amount of intelligence. There is a debate as to what intelligence means. Educators and sociologists have come to understand there are multiple kinds of intelligence. What these experts are not exactly sure about is what exactly an IQ test actually measures. You can rest assured whatever your IQ you have that has little to do with your eventual success. Research shows that although being smart helps, it only helps up to a point. Beyond a certain point, at least statistically speaking, there is no relationship between higher IQ scores and better grades. So what makes a superior student better? Or more to the point you want to know what will make you better. The biggest difference between A students and everyone else is that they have a system for how they study. They take a little extra time to get organized. That extra time they spend getting organized means they will have to spend less time studying later. Despite the feeling most students have that they must spend time with the important stuff, their lack of organization really does not accomplish anything better than wasting time. This is good news for you. It means anyone, including you, can learn the key study skills which will build your success.